Hello my soccer universe. Well, after this deep dive that I gave you on Austria's biggest team in Rapid, uh, which I posted yesterday and since today Lask is opening the 50th Bundesliga season against Rapid, I decided, okay, let's make a collection video because that shirt actually has featured very prominently in this video. So, this is for now my only Rapid jersey that I have. Honestly, as we will see, it is a rather traditional looking Rapid jersey, which is exactly what I wanted to have uh, when I was looking for one. But I have to track a little bit back because if you would have asked me even five years ago, do you want to buy a Rapid jersey? I would never have gone for it. Another Austrian team was never in the equation. There was only Lask jerseys. I'm a Lask fan. I was never thinking of almost any other team. Until, you know, you start collecting, you start talking about the league and then, you know, needs arise. You know, I'm crazy enough. I want to have different jerseys from many teams that I'm talking about in my background. So sooner or later, some Austrian teams were about to enter the collection for sure. Now, um, I have to say that for the first one that broke the barrier of the Austrian team was actually an Austria Salzburg jersey, which I have not shown you yet, but I will do uh, that soon enough when we talk about uh, Salzburg in more capacity. Uh, but this was, no matter how you define it, it's the second or third jersey because I got it together. I ordered them more or less at the same time together with a Sturmgast jersey, which will also feature relatively soon on my channel. And you can see the unpacking video for that in here. Now, uh, the nice thing is when I um, got this jersey, I was just looking for, and you know, for Austrian jerseys, I have kind of, you know, 20 euros max. I don't want to go much higher than that. And I was, saw this for 20 euros. It is sponsorless, it is long sleeve. It was uh, very quickly made the deal. The guy sent it, uh, claimed he had only worn it one, one time. It arrived and voila, it worked out really, really, really well has been used in many of a video. I have never worn it because I'm not gonna wear this, but I will keep it in good condition because I think it's a beautiful shirt and it's kind of special as well. To top it off, this jersey, although with a sponsor, was also a jersey that I made a surprise package for my buddy Matt from Sh Football Shirts for Dementia for, uh, where I got the exact same jersey in short sleeve, but with a sponsor, which you may argue looks or does not look better. I found funny, funny. This is a very special uh, jersey, therefore, in the history of my channel. And let's have a little bit of a closer look at this particular shirt. So here you go. Uh, this is the time when Adidas were uh, the sponsors for uh, the suppliers for uh, Rapid, which they have been for a really, really long time, to, to the point where I find uh, Rapid and Adidas almost synonymously. Um, similar like I did with Adidas and AC Milan. Fun fact, if you invert the colors, the opposite of white is of course black and the opposite of green is of course red. So Milan is the exact opposite of Rapid for that matter. But jokes aside, I actually, what I really liked was this very, very plain striping with a really nice looking color. I think it's, it's a lot of class. Maybe the one thing is that the piping here along the sleeve that we will see is a teeny bit odd the way it comes around, but it extends nicely to a really long sleeve. Potentially it would be nice to have the sleeve striped as well to add a little bit more of the classic green and white because uh, as, you, as, you, as you can see the cut comes down here on the front and even cuts off uh, the stripe here on the, on, on, the, on the bottom. So it's mostly a green jersey with some white elements. However, uh, that the um, stripes are in white and that the collar is in white actually balances it out quite nicely. Uh, Rapid logo wonderfully stitched right here. Uh, the Adidas logo and as I said, it's sponsorless. The original should have here an orange patch with white writing Wien Energie that would be uh, the original. But as, as, as you can tell, it's uh, the classically stitched on Adidas stripes. I don't know. I would assume this is only a fan version and not a player version. But you know, what do I know exactly what Rapid Wien were wearing at that time? The back is similarly blank. You see the piping actually starts here on the back side of the collar, cuts off the three stripes and then goes all the way around to here, which honestly is a little bit odd, but the design carries very nicely over. I have to say for a repeat jersey, this is really, really 
a beautiful one. Uh, I also like that uh, it has kind of the darker green, which are truly the club's colors. Yes, I had some jerseys from the uh, mid '90s that I sent that I got for another friend from uh, Andy from Andy's football shirts. I think I made a video video about that one. Had a much brighter green, which is what I grew up with. But I have to say, I do enjoy the slightly darker green. It's a much better look for repeat overall. So yeah. Maybe the other thing is, I don't know why they needed to make the white patches for the sleeve cuffs here and the way they're cut, but you know, small details. I overall think this is a really, really good looking, nice jersey. As I said, as a Lusk fan, it's about as good as a repeat jersey can be, or as much as, as I can like a repeat jersey, but I have to be here a little bit more. I can be quite neutral and say this is a really good looking jersey, uh, a jersey probably one of the best that repeat had in the last 20 years and I'm happy to have it in my collection to be honest. Now this jersey was worn during very interesting times for Rapid Vienna. It was worn in the 09 uh, 10 and in the 10 11 uh, seasons. Uh, just in the Bundesliga they finished third in the league uh, in uh, 09 and 10 having four more points than they had in the championship winning season two years earlier, but still managed only a third place, meaning the level of the league actually increased quite some. And then a year later, they finished only in fifth place and in infamy, but more on that a little bit later. Because most notably, uh, this is the jersey that they wore when they twice had to play in the Europa League qualification, twice in the last round against Aston Villa, and twice they beat Aston Villa. First time around, they beat them at home, 1-0, goal by Jelovic, I remember, in the first minute. I was in America, but I, I remember that those were pretty big results. Um, and then they lost away from home, 1-2, but the away goals were carried them through into a group stage, where they had actually a really, really interesting group with uh, Hamburg, with Celtic, and with Hapoel Tel, Tel, Tel Aviv, and it started well with beating Hamburg 3-0 at home, earning 1-1 draw at Celtic. And then it all fell apart against Hapoel Tel Aviv, where they were completely flattened. The one team that you would not have expected that. And then uh, they ended up losing in Hamburg uh, as well. And even though they had a 3-0 lead, they only managed a 3-3 against Celtic at the end. So it was kind of the end of the Peter Packold era at Rapid. Uh, but it started really well and then kind of petered out. And the same thing can come with the second one, because they had to meet Aston Villa again in quality qualifying. This time only managing a 1-1 at home, however, winning 3-2 away from home. This was the first time the Rapid had beaten an English opponent at home and on aggregate. And in, in addition, the first time they had actually um, uh, beaten, uh, beaten an English team away from home as well. Funnily enough, speaking of English teams, and this just came, came, came to me, I actually saw Rapid play in this jersey in 2009. Uh, I went, and this was one of the very weird experiences, I went to uh, the, I think it was the 110th anniversary game, Rapid played Liverpool at the Ernst Happel Stadion, and I got tickets, we were sitting right in the Rapid, among the Rapid fans, um, which yeah, this was one of the weird experiences in my life, the game was not great, Rapid won 1-0, uh, and you know, we all wanted to see the Liverpool stars, but Liverpool didn't really play with all the stars. So it was the only time I saw Liverpool, the only time I was at a repeat home game. And again, uh, it was one of the weird experiences. I was not wearing any shirts or whatever, uh, or any soccer paraphernalia. I was just there. And yeah, be it felt like I'm in, I'm in the wrong crowd, which I definitely was. But at least I enjoyed that game as well. Now I said this ended in infamy. Yes, this is also uh, worn during the season where uh, two, 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 at the end of the season Rapid were really not in good shape and then they lose, they were down in the derby 2-0 just after half an hour and then all hell broke loose uh, instigated by a combination of Rapid and Panathinaikos fans. They stormed the field and that is one of the most infamous scenes in Austrian football. So yeah, uh, the jersey, as beautiful as it is, was not a successful one overall for Rapid. However, it got European glory. Um, I also owe you the results from the other group stage where they then played uh, Porto, Besiktas and CSK from Sofia, where they only finished third, having not really a chance against the two big boys in there. So yeah, 
That's me and my rapid jerseys. The question is, do I want to have more rapid jerseys? I honestly would like to have one or two away jerseys. Probably one in red, uh, red and blue, and one in white. I think that would be quite interesting to have, to have a little bit more variety. Not that I'm going to go crazy on that. Um, if I for just uh, how to say nostalgia's per uh, sake, if I get a hold on a 95-96 shirt that they wore in the Euro European Cup Winners final against PSG, where I have the PSG jersey, that would be a fun thing to have too. But it's not something that I'm really looking forward to. But you know, having an away potentially a third jer uh, jersey, so one in white, one uh, in uh, red, blue, would be really nice additions to the collection. Because I come now to terms that, honestly, I should get more Austrian teams in there. It does not lower my standing as a Lask fan, but it elevates mine as a collector, because it's something that I can actually reasonably get to. So yeah, I want to hear your thoughts on me owning uh, jerseys from other teams from Austria, though I'm a very dedica dedicated fan of one team. Uh, and my reason behind that, of course, I want to know what do you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video. I'll surely talk to you soon about more jerseys. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!